This is Parsi food at its best in Camp Pune. This restaurant is 146 years old and it is still going strong. What's up guys? Welcome to our channel. We are in the busy streets of Camp Pune and we are going to visit one of the most oldest Parsi restaurants to try out their famous breakfast options. Dorabji and Sons, a renowned restaurant in Camp Pune, has a rich history dating back to its establishment in 1878. Known for its legacy, the restaurant has been a culinary landmark in Pune, offering a fusion of traditional and contemporary dishes. Over the years, Dorabji's has become synonymous with quality dining, reflecting the essence of Pune's vibrant food culture. Camp, located in the heart of Pune, is a historic and bustling area known for its vibrant atmosphere and diverse offerings. This lively neighborhood is characterized by tree-lined streets, colonial architecture and a mix of commercial and residential spaces. Camp is a popular destination for shopping, dining and cultural experiences, making it a central hub for both locals and visitors, seeking a blend of tradition and modernity in Pune. I just met Mr. Darius guys, so he's going to take me inside for a quick tour of the kitchen. So right now let's step inside, this is what the entrance looks like and as soon as you enter, look at this guys on the board here, they have the menu here which is from the 1940s and if you have a look it's all in anas. So anas is something which translates to either cents or fills or you know, the smaller currency. And that looks like Darahes in his younger days. That's such a big article guys. So if you ever visit and you'd like to know the history of this place, just come and spend some time at this board here. Alright. And it opens at 10 a.m. We are uh, on time exactly at 10 a.m. It's a Sunday. And if you have a look here, there are people who are already waiting and this gentleman here, he is always the first person to visit the restaurant. Guys, I have a very popular figure here at Dorabji and Sons. His name is Richard. I know Richard. Yeah, Richard Solomon. So, he is always the first person to come yeah. to Dorabji and Sons. And Darayash told me that 365 days of the year, he is always the first person to come here. So, that's a record, guys. Right guys, so I have Mr. Darius here with me and he's going to give me a short tour of the kitchen. Hello Mr. Darius, thank you both. You're most welcome. Most welcome. Alright, so let's have a look at the kitchen. He was explaining me, this is the beja and so I've come here for this. Yes. <laughs> alright. So these are ready to be cleaned this one. Okay, alright, that's perfect. They're just coming out. Nice. And what are these? And these, are all, these are all the biryanis. Yeah. Biryanis? Yeah. Oh wow. This, this line is mutton, that line is chicken. Chicken, okay. That's it already smells good, I can yeah. smell the coal, I can <laughs> imagine the flavours and it feels nice and warm here because Pune right now is cold it's in really the morning. Chilly, yeah. yeah, and what yeah, is yeah, this? No, that's tea for the work, the staff will make it Okay, that's a nice idea to utilise the coal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they utilise everything and yeah. nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. Yeah. Frying is done on gas but everything else is cooked on charcoal. On charcoal. Like even our gravy, they have yeah. already gone out. The yeah. gravy go on here actually, but they already set out. So guys, in case if you are anywhere close to Camp Pune, you have to try the food here at Dorabji and Sons. And this is my first time visiting, I am very curious to try the food. Oh, here. first time you are? Oh, you love it. Thank you. I will come and ask you after you eat again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Come, All come. Right. So let's go out and check what they have here at Dorabji and Sons. Saligosh is the first gravy. Yeah, this one is called yeah, the Saligosh. Sali the second one is the chicken masala. This one is chicken masala. Okay. That is Sali chicken. The gravy is different and that is the dancer. Dancer. Yeah. All right. So is that uh, uh, is that something that you can have for breakfast, dancer? You can have everything for breakfast. Everything. Kima, liver, everything for breakfast. <laughs> okay. So I am super curious to have the beja because I haven't had beja in a long time. So Mr. Darius here is giving a tour to my mother-in-law because I, I she was a chef. chef from Bombay. Okay, a you. chef from Bombay with her. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So they were both talking about the food. There is so much of action that is happening here. You so should see here. An RO2 earlier. An RO2 earlier, yeah. yeah. This looks like the Patra fish. So this is the menu, guys. You can pause the video and have a complete look at the menu. 
दे हैव मटन एंड चिकन कटलेट भेजा दैट्स वॉट आई एम हेयर फॉर अकूरी वी हैड दैट इन मरीन लाइन्स दे हैव बिरयानी दे हैव लॉड ऑफ ऑप्शन हेयर फॉर लंच गाइज इफ यू सी यर दे हैव मटन बिरयानी दम अगेन लॉड ऑफ पारसी स्पेशल एंड दीज आर वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट ड्रिंक्स विच इज़ द रेसबेरी लेमन जिंजर एंड ऑरेंज एंड इन डिजर्ट दे हैव मलाई कुल्फी एंड कस्टर्ड check this out guys we have our food and let me show you a close up there we have the keema and this is the bheja cutlet with egg and these are the uh, chicken and the mutton cutlets so let's take my mother in law's review so mother in law how is the keema pav here the keema is very tasty the spices are blended very well spices are blended very well and you must have definitely had this in bombay in church here yes right? Sure. Okay. So, guys, look at this, and I'm sure the keema must be super delicious because Parsi cuisine mainly focuses on uh, the primary ingredient that is the meat. And here we have Adrian. Adrian, what are you eating? I think this is the mutton cutlet. The mutton cutlet. Okay. So check this out, guys. Mutton cutlet has a good feeling, and this here is the beja with egg. and this looks like the chicken cutlet and here we have lot of pops right guys so i have taken everything here in my plate bits and pieces let's start with the pav here so look at the pav guys very soft and let me taste the keema as expected keema has a very distinct parsi flavor it's not at all full of masala as the gentleman uh, his name mr solomon who we spoke to who comes here regularly said look at this guys hmm yummy flavor and just here is the brain with egg so if you look inside it's full of all the beja so this is fried with a coating of egg guys Mm. Wow. I love 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 pizza and in in case if you're someone like me guys you must try this out look at this it's loaded it's the entire brain is so yummy guys mm wow try this Adrian and her mom don't like this so this is also going to be for me and what is this here guys wow I have been longing to have the beja since such a long time. Now I've got my hands on the cutlet. Mm. Even the cutlet is superb. I, my mother-in-law liked the keema so much. We have, in fact, all liked it so much. We finished it, and we've gone for another plate of keema. Check this out, guys. This is the. Beja masala and look at us. We enjoyed the food so much. I don't know what my mother-in-law is thinking. Maybe she's thinking about the keema. <laughs> But look at this, guys. I liked it so much. That's why I ordered for the beja masala. Now, wow, my mouth is watering talking about this. Let me try this. Let's take a quick bite. As you can see, I can see tomato. So uh, this gravy here definitely going to have a tomato base. Wow. Hmm. I can taste all the flavors. The gravy is thick. I can taste the tomatoes, spices, not so much. Perfect blend. And guys, the beja just melts in your mouth. It just melts in your mouth. If my friends are watching. they will definitely agree with me how awesome this stuff is if you are used to having this mm. sorry but you have to lick your fingers when the food is that good and that is a second round of keema and idrian and mom are enjoying this and we have some more pauses here so guys that's how much we like the keema here and all the other stuff i actually want to eat more of the beja <laughs> 
but my stomach will not be able to take it. So guys, if you are anywhere close to camp and if you want to taste some good Farsi food, just make sure you drop by at Dorabji's. And we are going to end today's day with this lovely looking caramel custard. So we are so full eating, we didn't want to order three of this, just one of this is enough. And look at the texture of this guys, wow, it feels soft. Let's taste this now. Authentic Parsi flavors is what I can say. It's very different as compared to a regular custard. It's more on the milky side, has a very different flavor. I can taste uh, some sort of biscuit kind of flavor in it, but it is superb guys. I can even taste the cardamom inside. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's review. Until the next video, take care, stay safe and stay positive.